It's your serving of Tasty Sound Bites. My name is Max, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of various pins that I've been receiving in the mail for the past couple days. I got a bunch from Fursona Pins and one from an Etsy seller called Swifterly. I guess I could start off with the Swifterly pins over here and then work my way up to the Fursona pins. For a first video, I uh, don't really know what more to say, but I suppose there's not really need to say much more than what I think. packaging that she uh, sent these all in is quite nice. I did receive, this is one of two packages, I did receive the first one pre, uh, earlier this week. I will very likely end up bringing them out to join these ones. I do not know what's within the box aside from the pins that I ordered. The other package that I got from her did contain more items than I ordered, so without further ado, let's see what's inside. Uh, currently, everything is packaged in this nice tissue paper. Just gently wrap this away. Uh, she does include a card with a thank you note on the back. If you want to take a sec to read that. Uh, and within are the pins themselves. I already have one of these. It came in the last package. It's green and black. I already have one of these as well. Rainbow. I already have one of these red ones, red and glitter. I don't know whether you can see it very well on camera. And then the two that I hadn't received before are purple and glitter. I apologize for the lighting. Since it is my first video, I don't really have much of a uh, setup going. And in this box, there is only the pins and the thank you card. Oh, well. I will uh, pull out the contents of the previous box. Uh, towards the end of the video, when I get the rest of these out. I will start off with the smaller package, then do the bigger package afterwards. This is from Persona Pins. So, without further ado, let's have a look. Hmm. This was not one that I ordered. They must have replaced it with a, another one, or it's a free pin. Um, with every package that they ship out, they include one of these rubber little rubber paws. I have four now. I got three prior. Um, this is one of four ice cream cat variants that I had ordered. That's one of them. This is two. This is three. And I'm going to assume that four is within this package over here. Here is one of the Draco pairs that they offer. This is the red and black. 
one. This is, uh, and this is the uh, small one. Here's the white and yellow small of the Draco pairs. Then the large pins, the inch pins. This is the white Draco pair, three inch enamel pin. And the red and black three inch pin. There is nothing else within this package, so I'll throw that down there. And then onto my favorite part. I know what's within this bag. with various pins inside that I have already opened. And the one thing I am most excited to see what's inside is a pin bag. Second generation, according to the website. This can hold anywhere from 150 to uh, 240 pins, I believe, which is quite nice. I can get rid of the current thing I'm holding my pins in. Not gonna lie, I'm not proud of what I have them in currently. Before we have a look at that, I am going to have a look at the pins within this bag. Ah, here we go. The Western Dragon with Persona Pins flag. Bean Party. And the final variant of the Ice Cream Kitty. The Caramel variant. Here I have the Inclusive Scully. This was uh, very difficult to get my hands on. I unfortunately couldn't get the uh, Persona Pins flag variant. It was sold out. And, of course, <coughs> the paw. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Swallowed wrong. <coughs> so now I have five of these. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But, uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the Fursota Pins pin bag. Uh, the Fursota Pins logo is embroidered on the front in a, I want to say, a three, three and a half inch patch embroidered into the front. There is plastic blue piping along the edges on the front and back. The back is, uh, bland. There are rather the bottom. It does come with a, the bag does have a handle, a built on handle on the top, and comes with a carry case strap. It is a double zipper bag. Let's a better look. Um, inside here, the lid is empty. Inside there is one bag. There is none of these are separable. There is a mesh bag first for any loose items. It is zippered. There is a second zippered bag, non mesh. I uh, do not know what this is. Oh, 
I can remove certain parts. These, I am assuming, are added dividers. Two bags and three of this uh, fabric stuff here. I'm pretty sure there's a, those are for the pins themselves. There is Velcro down here at the bottom and Velcro here. Just stick them in and it's a book. Uh, another one of the pouches. I'm sure that's for the cards or something. And then in the bottom here, there are more pouches. Alright. I suppose at this time I will look over each individual pin individually to have a look at the details. I suppose I'll have a look at the inclusive scully. Take it out of the packaging, have a look. Um... detailing on it is actually pretty nice. The skull details here, and the bones down along the uh, sides. The colors are quite impressive on the flag here, and the flag is indeed on a, on a little bone. That is inclusive skull. Now, I do not remember ordering this one. I'll have to have a look back through my order history, but I do not remember ordering an Eastern Dragon with the... This is probably... Oh, wait, hold on. This is probably the inclusive... Or no, uh... Unity Pastel Eastern Dragon. Details are quite nice. The colors pop a little bit, despite being uh, pastel. Uh, next up, I'll have a look at the Western Dragon. Yeah, it's packaging. The blues are quite nice. The horns are nice. The Persona Pins logo on the flag is clear to see. The details are very nice. Um, next up, I will have a look at the Bean Party. Uh, for being a first video, I don't really have anything better to do than uh, have a look at the, um, the pins that I just ordered. Uh, so I believe I will also pull out my other pins, have a look at those, and say goodbye to the case I currently have them in. Um, that's quite cute, all three of these little kitties with each other. Details on their patterns are quite nice. I believe the eyes are green on all three of them. This one over here is a uh, winking. It's cute. It is a pretty big pin. But uh, a little bit bigger than the other pins here. Uh, next up, I will have a look at. The uh, well, ice cream kitties. I will be doing the uh, swifterly pins last. Uh, here I have the rare variant caramel cat. When I ordered this, there were five left. Now there are currently four, probably less. I will get it out of the packaging and have a look at it. Um, most Fursona pins come with the rubber backs, uh, but a few of the older pins do have the clasping backings. 
I do have plenty of my own rubber backings. So having a look at the details of the caramel cat. Uh, it will look like the vanilla cat and the uh, caramel cat are very similar, but you will notice that the uh, patterns are different colors and the body, main body color is different for the caramel cat than it is compared to the vanilla cat. The vanilla cat has a white primary, whereas caramel is yellow primary. Uh, there's a little cherry on the end of the tail with that waffle cone. Um, this is pin number four, 740. I believe all of the ice cream pads are 740. So that is one of the four ice cream cats. Speaking of the vanilla cat, let's have a look at the vanilla cat next. Tossing all the uh, plastic wraps over to the side here. Um, one thing I do want to note is that these look like they are rose gold pins instead of silver or uh, black nickel. On the uh, vanilla cat, the ice cream in the tail is actually different. On the caramel cat, it's more orange and dark blue brown, whereas on the vanilla cat it is more of a tan and white. The cherry is still present. Unfortunately, the cherry doesn't look like it is a uh, glitter. Would be cool if the uh, cherry was glitter. Um, next up, I will have a look at the chocolate ice cream cat. It is a silver pin with uh, clasps with metal clasps on the back. Uh, the colors on this one are much darker than the other ones. The tongue is uh, dark on this one. The ice cream in the tail is all chocolate dark. The waffle cone is chocolate dark as well. Though the cherry is red. Next up is the Meowpolitan. I think that was a clever play on words. And it is the only of the four to have rubber pinbacks. It has pink, brown, and white throughout it. The red cherry, white, and pink ice cream scoops in the tail. Uh, which is uh, the chocolate brown waffle cone. All three of these kitties are adorable. Uh, where, while I uh, do note that uh, the Rare variants have different cards compared to, if I'm not mistaken, these were pins of the month's, uh, the Patreon Remainders, if I'm not mistaken. These were, the Meowapolitan and Chocolate were the primary variants, and then the uh, special variants were Caramel and Vanilla. That is only if I uh, remember correctly. Um, next up, I will be having a look at the Draco Pears, the 1.75 inch first. These are silvers with uh, clasps. Uh, these are literally smaller versions of the 3 inch pins, so I am expecting that the details on the smaller ones to be a little bit less than the 3 inch. I very well could be wrong. Again, I apologize for the terrible lighting. The detailing is pretty nice on such a small pin. Then again, looking at the details on all the other pins, the detailing is very nice. The colors are 
very well detailed. The teeth are white, the, eye, the scleras are white as well. The horns are white and the claws are white, whereas everything else is red or black. Next up, I will have a look at the white. Small, 1.75. It is a silver with silver pin backs. I will be replacing those. Uh, again, the details on this are quite nice. The Scalera is actually a light blue. Uh, the teeth are the same color as the rest of the body, etc., etc. The details in this are exactly the same as this one, just different colors. Next up, I will have a look at the 3 inch variants. These both are the largest pins I own now. At first it was Kitty. Both Kitty variants from Fursona Pins. I will be pulling those out at the very end. And as I expected, the details on the 3 inch are different from the 1.75 inch. The eye, the uh, iris, is yellow on the three on the three inch and the inside of the mouth is uh a lighter pink it looks like the lighter pink detail on this one is there it's just very difficult to see same with the iris you can really have a look at the details a little bit better in the three inch variant but the sheer size of this is amazing uh, these, the three inch ones will probably go into the pin bag, or I will find a backpack for them to go on. Um, a lot of people have actually asked me how I got started in the, uh, pin collecting. I worked at, uh, Dairy Queen, and they have little pins to put on your hat bills. So that really got me started on pins. From there, I decided to start my own personal collection, and from there, I just started collecting the uh, pins all together. Uh, before all of these, I had a total of 58 pins uh, in this video. I think I might just recount for you guys. Anyways, uh, like I said, the details on this one are different from the smaller version you can really have a look at the details better the eyes the sclera is light blue whereas the iris is actually a dark blue and the two side by side these are three pinned enamels whereas all the other ones are two pins But yeah, these are actually pretty hefty pins. Um, next up we're gonna have a look at the, uh, the Swifterly pins. On the back of the cards, it is it says the exact same thing that it does on the back of the business card. Um, this is the green and black fade dragon. The second one that I have is in my, uh, Temporary pin box. Uh, she does include rubber pin backs. The little star details are adorable. And next, I have the rainbow dragon. The frill on the back of the head is purple, then blue, green, yellow, orange, and red cute little detail. Again, the second one is in my current pin box. I like how she included a bunch of these uh, circle confettis, these t circle tissue confettis in the box that she sent. Uh, the glitter red A grade. I will note that all of these uh, pins from uh, Swifterly 
our uh, A grades. They were un somehow the only variants left available. Again, I don't know if you can see the glitter in the wings very well. I actually don't have more than 10 glitter pins now. Then, uh, the purple. These are very pretty. You can kind of see the glitter better in the wings. And the second one. Uh, my phone just informed me that I'm reaching my video capacity, so I'm probably going to make this into a two-parter. Uh, this being the review of all the items, and the next one being a uh, general overview of all my stuff. And the loading everything into the new pin bag and having a look at all the uh, other pins that I have in the collection. But, um... For a overview of everything that I got today, I think this pin haul was quite nice. A big shout out to Fursona Pins and to Swifterly for uh, making and selling such amazing pins. Uh, that'll do it for this part one.